OK, let's go for the restoration of the master and model databases. So if we restore them, it means that we no longer have access to our SQL engine. So let's go. I'm going to backup these two databases. Backup and we has been done. So the backup are here, just here. Okay, the master and model ones. After that, I'm going to launch the SQL server, SQL server, SQL, sorry, configuration manager. So I pressed the start menu and we search this SQL server manager 15.mbc. Okay, I copy, execute. And passed and okay. So I have the SQL Angel launched just here and is it in execution. I will press properties. I go to the launch settings and I will add the dash M dash M click on hard and don't forget the apply button and the small windows pop-ups we have to restart the SQL engine that's we going to do we executing the is order okay the SQL engine will restart we start just here okay SQL server has been restart and what's happened if I want to connect to my SQL server engine connect database engine and connect so we can no longer access to SQL engine we have imitated a server crash it's half as if the master database no longer exists secondly I will open a DOS windows which is here I'm going to perform it as the administrator. I click on CNG programs and execute as the administrator. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay. And I'm going to tap SQL CMD like this. I'm going to zoom. SQL CMD dash S in uh, the S must be capital lizard and the name of the server the name of the instance sql server engine okay so i press enter and here i log on to in the sql engine in the single user mode because i am the administrator i have all the permission on the sql engine and on the machine Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to type restore database. So restore database. Master from disk and the location where is the backup. Up. and master dot back I press enter but if you press enter many times we see that we have nothing so we have to type go Okay, let's make a zoom and we can see that 60, 6,000, sorry, 40 page has been restored. Okay. So the database master was restored. Then, then so restart the SQL server engine. 
and it's, let's make try a new connection it's okay you can now connect to your SQL Server engine you can do the same thing for the database model you restart the database model from disk okay don't forget with the place when you finish because sometimes it may uh, not work so put with the place and don't forget the go validation to for sorry to validate the transaction okay so that it's that's it if you have any problem at this level you know how to restore these two system database okay so let's go for the next demo.